Hey, it's Kevin and Cheryl on safari at the Minnesota Zoo at the Africa exhibit. Not all of the wildest creatures are over there. Some of them are right. Here. That was really dramatic. Wasn't I like that. that. Awesome? <laughs> I feel like I'm right there on the savannah. Was that like a Phantom of the Opera moment? I mean, was it that dramatic? It's more like New Orleans at Mardi Gras, I think. Everybody's wearing masks, everybody's celebrating, and you know, this is this is just part of the fun at the uh, the Africa. Can you even hear what I'm saying? <laughs> it sounds like this. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. I can't breathe and I sound like Charlie Brown's teacher, but uh, <laughs> the, the fun is happening here at the Africa exhibit at the Minnesota Zoo. We're actually at the gift shop and it's really cool some of the stuff that you find here. Like look, this is a little baby ostrich. It's an ostrich, right? That's right. Yeah, it's a little ostrich. Good Thank call you. on the ostrich. Good Thank that you knew you. that right yeah. away. That's good. I'm kind of a, a zoo expert and look at this. Alright, this I love. Ah, uh, giraffe hand puppet. Hello there! <laughs> I'm a giraffe! <laughs> Got your nose! Oh, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> what are we, five? <laughs> You're just making up these lines as you go along. Look, tell. you know what? That's the great thing about the zoo is it does make you feel like a kid. It's fun to just go back. Well, I pretty much act like a yeah, kid all the time. I notice that. But it's fun! So Zawadi here, he's seven years old and he's about 15 feet tall. And uh, that tongue that he's got, you're about to see, that tongue's about 18 inches long. And it's dark blue in color, and the reason we think that is is because they spend a lot of their time during the day feeding in the middle of the hot African sun, and it stops it from getting sunburnt. You imagine a sunburnt tongue wouldn't be much fun at all. Do you have any idea how they transport these huge creatures absolutely. from there to here? Yeah, absolutely. Very carefully is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we actually have a custom designed trailer, which is designed especially for moving giraffe. And it's like a, a, a massive horse trailer, if you like. It's a very tall horse trailer. It also has a hydraulic roof. So when the driver's coming, approaching a, a tall, uh, like a bridge, you can press a button and the roof will lower. These guys will actually transport standing up. They won't fly down to travel. They'll transport from standing up. So they've kind of got their heads down a little bit. When the roof lowers, they just kind of lean forward and then they go under the bridge. He presses the button, it raises back up again. Well thought out. I yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's quite a process to move a giraffe. It's not something you want to do very often, but um, definitely we, uh, we have professionals who look after that. The Africa exhibit is here at the Minnesota Zoo until September 1st. Until What we do actually have out here is actually a very special type of zebra. It's called the Hartman's Mountain Zebra and they're a rare species. There's not very many of them left in the wild. We actually don't know a whole lot about them. So the zoo's involved actually spearheading one of the conservation projects about this particular type of zebra. And they're usually found in Namibia in the, in the southern part of, the, of uh, the continent of Africa and they're usually found in uh, the mountains. So they're really well adapted for arid conditions, things like that. So, How do they do in the Minnesota winter, for example? In, in winter, oh. they would not do so oh, well. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They're only here temporarily until these, Labor Day. Exactly. Okay, and then it. these guys will travel probably back down to Texas, where they're from. Okay. So they much, much, they much prefer the Texas climate during winter. But this is a little bit like paradise for a mountain zebra right now, because this lush green grass they would never find in their native habitat. And also, the, the pond there is something which they would actually have to travel quite a long way to find. So this is about as good as it gets for a mountain zebra right here. So. Well, don't miss the Africa exhibit at the Minnesota Zoo, and it's going on until? Until Labor Day. Adam, thanks very much for your help. You guys are quite welcome. Thank you, Adam. No worries.